Chimpunga is a sanctuary of chimpanzees in the Republic of the Congo. We do the rescue of chimpanzees that they come from the illegal hunting and we rehabilitate them until they have uh, the age and the status for go back to the forest. When I was talking with Rob about all the issues that we did and why, what was the situation of our chimpanzees in semi-captivity and that we want to put them back into the forest, he was so interested to come here and help us to do a cardiac assessment. Like this, we are going to be sure that they are healthy in every single aspect. And we found that in other places all around the world, they were having similar problems. Chimpanzees were dying for cardiac disease. And we, we tried to find more explanations to this problem. That, that was the moment that I met a rough shape from Cardiff Metropolitan University. And that was like the window that opened. Um, so whilst heart disease has been suggested as the leading cause of death in uh, great ape populations, unfortunately it's quite surprising, but we actually don't know what the heart looks like um, or indeed how it functions in any of the great ape populations. So one of the major um, uh, purposes of the project is to understand what the normal heart of a chimpanzee or a gorilla or an orangutan or indeed a bonobo looks like. Um, so over the last three years we've now assessed close to 300 animals and we're getting a bit better idea of what the heart looks like. So how the walls look, how the heart functions, so how it contracts and how it relaxes and indeed the electrical activity that is associated with um, cardiac function. Now that we're beginning to understand what is normal, that information can then be used by vets, just like Rebecca, to better understand heart disease in these populations. So as part of the project, um, what we actually do is we run an ECG, we run a cardiac ultrasound, and we also take bloods for cardiac biomarkers. So those three tools give us a real global view of how the heart is working. And what we're trying to do as part of the project is to set diagnostic standards from the cardiac ultrasound, so in, in terms of structure and function, but also in relation to the ECG, so what is the normal ECG, what does it look like, and then how that can be used to diagnose disease in other populations. The same is being done with the cardiac biomarkers, by which we should be able to uh, identify a cutoff above which there is some suggestion of cardiac disease. The structure of the the heart of the chimpanzee and the human are quite similar in that it has four chambers and so on. But the way it, it moves and the mechanics of the heart is slightly different. And actually that's quite an interesting piece of information because it allows us to understand a little bit more from an evolutionary perspective about how we're diverse, but also what it gives us some, some nice information about healthy, normal populations of chimpanzees that we can then relate to and use this as a reference data set to make inferences about the health of other chimpanzees, which is very exciting indeed. So far they first appear very, very similar. The ultrasound windows are in a very similar place to humans and if you were just to look very quickly it would look very much the same. But when you start to analyse blood velocities and chamber sizes and things, there are some subtle differences that actually once we look into them in more depth may actually paint a bigger picture as to their heart functions. So by the end of our two weeks here we'll have assessed almost a hundred animals. That will go into the large data set that we are generating across many sanctuaries here in uh, Africa and also captive populations in Europe. Um, hopefully in the next couple of years we'll get a much better understanding of the heart in all of the great apes and hopefully be able to um, provide information for veterinary teams who are caring for those grey tapes to provide the real best service for them. And we are using that opportunity for to do just this cardiac assessment and Rob uh, from Cardiac Metropolitan University is here helping us with that. And it's, it's great, it's actually great because for us every single team is important.